Yo, this is TD Clicks. Welcome to Icon Collective. We're about to do my end studio upstairs. Come on. Yo, this is the Icon Wall of Fame with all the uh, artists that come through for uh, Q&As or whatnot. So I've been teaching Icon for about a year now. Love teaching here. It's made me hone my abilities a lot. It's a one-of-a-kind kind of place. It's used the studios. It's close to my house. Love it here. We're in the studio now. We're gonna be going through Bass and Tweeters, my new jam, off the Club Heads EP. I had some Bass and Tweeters. I guess my inspiration for this song was, uh, I just kind of been going out in the deep end. I haven't really been listening to new music or anything, just kind of doing my own thing. Trying to step into the studio without any expectations. Pure creativity, kind of no sound design direction or anything, and kind of let the song show itself to me. Uh, some zen shit, I guess. <laughs> I had some bass and tweeters. One drum group here with kind of my kicks and snares and all that kind of stuff going. Um, now I got another group with all my hats and funky stuff kind of set together. Um, then I got my basses down in another group. And just a few other things laid on top of those. Um, super easy to route and group together. Not much going on, just bass and drums and a vocal at some point. But that's kind of goes back to my uh, keeping it simple, stupid ethos, um, flaming uppercut club jams, right? You know, kind of one of the keys of house music is, is swing. I got a nice little swing on these guys. I like to use MIDI drums in Ableton. It makes it a lot easier to use the groove pool. Uh, you can kind of leave all the MIDI data on the grid and it, it grooves it for you. So you can actually command A inside of here and check the click properties of everything at once and change the groove all together. I got an MPC 16th note swing going. That's kind of the one for garage type stuff. Um, but just gives it that little kind of extra head nod to the drums that uh, we need. They kind of do their own thing there. Then I put that groove on everything, and it kind of makes everything swing and, and knot together just a little bit. The tiny kind of timing infractions and stuff. So I got this little guy on the one, and then the rest of the bass is kind of filled up by this big Reese wide-ass sound. And there's a sub underneath that as well. Um, all kind of spread out. But you can see one's kind of call and response with the other one, which is uh, the way I like to do things. If you look at the MIDI data for this, it's just a straight up uh, F note. So a lot of that pitching is actually coming from the LFO, which controls the reverb filters cutoff. And we can watch the LFO work on the sound. Right, so. But it's just playing a straight F note, so a lot of that pitch comes in the all passes filter, which I, I really like. That's about it though. Just serums, nice little vocal sample, some bass drops. We're all about keeping it simple. 